Good evening. Today marks 10 years since the chain of events that led to riots in Cincinnati. Racial tensions flared when Cincinnati police officer Stephen Roach shot Timothy Thomas, an unarmed black man, in Over the Rhine. In the last 30 days, we've highlighted various aspects of our community to find out if people think Cincinnati has changed. Roach shot and killed Thomas in a dark alley in Over the Rhine, April 7, 2001. The unrest lasted for several days, prompting a citywide curfew. Today, Thomas's brother Terry and his sister Brandy still live in Cincinnati. Both say their attitude about the police department has changed. Terry regularly attends the First Christian Assembly of God Church with his children and Timothy's only child, 10-year-old Taiwan Thomas. He says he's raising his family to be good citizens. This church is, has everything you need. My kids can go there, learn, have fun. Me and my wife can go there, learn, have fun, and we have people we can connect with, you know, that's from different backgrounds. You know, everybody lived their own life. Everybody got their own problems, their own situations, but we all come here to throw that away, you know what I mean, and, and just rejoice together. And I, that's the part I love the most because I want to make sure at the end of the day we're going up top. Several years ago, the church declared a new mission of being racially reconciled in part to help the city heal from its tensions after Timothy Thomas's death. Tonight, Channel 9 aired a one-hour documentary called Ten Years Later, A Changed City. WCPO and Scripps hosted a party to view the documentary at the Kenwood Theater. Community activists, the mayor, and corporate leaders all watched the documentary. Afterwards, they took part in a conversation about what's changed in the past 10 years. What has changed? Nothing in their lives. Besides, they got pushed out of downtown Cincinnati, and all these big developers came in to retake over Cincinnati to make this, the heart of the city look so much better. How many lives were really changed that was in that community before? We don't have one-on-one -on -one relationships with one another. And when we don't have those one-on-one -on -one relationships, it's you don't have to care about what somebody else is going through. So I would just say that, just to echo off of what was said and what you've said, is that we have to become more accountable to one another. We have to begin to love and to care about each other in a way that it manifests itself so that my life is better because your life is better. When I see kids that were a part of the riot, who have now gotten married, have their own families, have gone to college, and when you ask them, how did you do this coming from where you were? They tell me, somebody trusted me. Somebody believed in me. And because someone believed in me, that made me believe in myself. We had children who faithfully showed up every Friday following the riots to wash cars, you know, because they no longer wanted to be a part of those children who were choosing to maybe wait on Sally to go pay for her gas and take her purse. You know, we engage those children with the promise from Cincinnati Can, with the promise from the different reverends and, and, and whoever else showed up with a nice shiny car that, that, that said that they were going to continue to help us after the cameras lap. And I'm here to tell y'all, we're still down there struggling. And it shouldn't be this hard. Nine News reporter Jessica